Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day. July 13, 100 before Christ. Julius Caesar is born. Dictator, general and Roman historian, Caius Julius Caesar is considered one of the most important soldiers and statesmen in history. He was born on the 13th of July of the year 100 BC. He was the son of patrician Julius Caesar and Aurelia, belonging to one of the most powerful families in Rome, the Julius, who claimed to be direct descendants of Aeneas founder of Lazio, and, therefore, descendants of the goddess Aphrodite. Julius Caesar's uncle Mario, married to his aunt Julia, his father's sister, was one of the greatest generals of the Republic of Rome, and fought against the dictator Sila in the First Civil War. Mario named Caesar Flamen Dialis, that is, high priest of the cult of Jupiter Optimus Maximus. Julius Caesar married Cornelia, daughter of Consul Cinna, with whom he had his only legitimate daughter, Julia. When Sulla defeated Marius and later faced Cinna, becoming dictator of Rome. He warned Julius that he must separate, or he would be forced to kill him. Caesar refused to do so, so Sulla stripped him of his role as Flamen Dialis. Caesar fled Rome to escape the dictator, until he got his pardon, then embarked on a military career in Asia Minor. When Sulla died, he returned to Rome, where he began his senatorial career. Once in the city, Caesar married his second wife, Pompey, from whom he would eventually divorce. In 62 BC he was appointed magistrate of Hispania Ulterior, and a year later he returned to Rome, where his political conflict with Pompey began. During his stay in the Orient, Julius managed to be named Aedile, Pontifex Maximus, supreme office of the Roman religion, and urban praetor, in addition to being ingratiated with the plebs by allying himself with Crassus. The three characters with the greatest political influence in the Republic at that time, Caesar, Pompey and Crassus, decided to unite to form the first triumvirate, consolidated with the marriage of Julia, Caesar's daughter, to Pompey. The three shared their zones of influence, Crassus received the government of the provinces of the east, Pompey remained in Rome, and Caesar assumed the military command of Gaul Cisalpina, and the proconsulate of Gaul Narbonense. From that moment, Caesar began a tough campaign against the Gauls, which lasted eight years, and managed to conquer all of Gaul. He fought the Germans who lived on the banks of the Rhine, and sent two expeditions to Britannia. The deaths of Julia and Crassus, 54 and 53 BC, were the main reason that Pompey and Caesar faced each other, which led to a fierce civil war. Caesar defeated his rival in Italy and Hispania and, in 48 BC, marched to Epirus, where he defeated Pompey at Pharsalia. He later intervened in the dynastic quarrels of Egypt, where he had a son by Cleopatra. He later subdued the king of Pontus, defeated Pompey's supporters at Tapso, 46 BC, and finally his sons at the Battle of Munda, 45 BC. Back in Rome, he assumed absolute power, reorganized state and provincial administration, and carried out some democratic reforms. Meanwhile, the aristocratic party, composed mainly of those who had been his friends before, such as Cassio and Brutus, conspired against him, assassinating him in the Senate on March 15, 44 BC. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article. Give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.